Operations management is becoming more and more international in its scope. Even a firm which markets the products only within the domestic markets may be conducting its business operations internationally, like sourcing the inputs or finished products internationally or manufacturing the products abroad. A dynamic company will take advantage of the favorable conditions that exist anywhere in the world. The business system involves the integration and management of diverse activities. A supply chain consists of all parties involved directly or indirectly in fulfilling a customer's request. The supply chain includes not only manufacturers and suppliers but also transporters, warehouse retailers and even customers themselves. The goal of a supply chain should be to maximize overall supply chain profitability. In this lesson, we are going to study how to establish a global strategy of procurement operations of a transnational firm. It follows from the previous slide that after studying this lesson, you should be able to define supply chain management, describe the various drivers of SCM, explain the components of logistic, explain the role of organization structure. Supply chain decisions has three phases. Depending on the frequency of each decision and the time frame during which a decision phase has an impact, the first one is supply chain strategy or design phase during which, given the marketing and pricing plans for a product, a company decides how to structure the supply chain over the next several years. The second phase is supply chain planning. The decision made during this phase, the time frame considered is a quarter to a year. Planning includes making decisions regarding which markets will be supplied from which locations, the subcontracting of manufacturing, the inventory policies to be followed, and the timing and size of marketing and price promotion. In supply chain operations phase, the time horizon is weekly or daily, and the companies make decisions regarding individual customer orders. During this phase, firms allocate inventory or production to individuals' orders, set a date that an order is to be filled, generate pick lists at a warehouse, allocate an order to a particular shipping mode and shipment, set delivery schedules of trucks and place replenishment orders. A company's competitive strategy defines relative to its competitors the set of customer needs that it seeks to satisfy through its products and services. Big Bazaar aims to provide high availability of a variety of products of reasonable quality at low prices. Most products sold at Big Bazaar are commonplace and can be purchased elsewhere. What Big Bazaar provides is a low price and product availability. Value chain analysis seeks to determine within the company's operations from new product development to distribution. Customer value can be enhanced or costs lowered. For each value added activity, the key questions are can we reduce costs in this activity, holding revenue value constant? Can we increase revenue in this activity, keeping the costs constant? Can we reduce assets in this activity, keeping costs and revenue constant? Most importantly, can we do A, B and C simultaneously? By systematically analyzing costs, revenues and assets in each activity, the business unit can achieve cost come differentiation advantage. To execute a company's competitive strategy, all the above functions play a role and each must develop its own strategy. One of the critical considerations in supply chain management is make or buy. Globalization has increased the scope of sourcing, has made the make or buy question more relevant. International business frequently face sourcing decisions, decisions about whether they should make or buy the component parts that go into the final part. Advantages of make decisions include lower cost, facilitating specialized investments, proprietary product technology, protection and improved scheduling while advantages of buy decisions include strategic flexibility, lower costs and offsets. In order to reap the benefits of vertical integration without the associate operational problems, the transnational firms operate by entering into strategic alliances with essential suppliers. Buy strategy is greatly benefited by the opportunities for global sourcing. The major factors determining the input-output ratio, output value, cost and quality are appropriateness and cost of technology and the quality and cost of other inputs. A great advantage of globalization is the opportunity to source them from the best source anywhere in the world. The main benefit of global sourcing are lower price, better quality, only source available, more advanced technology, more consistent attitude, 
more cooperative delivery counter trade requirement logistics encompasses the total movement concepts covering the entire range of operations concerned with the movement of material and products to through and out of the firms to the consumer it includes a variety of activities such as inventory management warehousing and storage transportation materials management order processing distribution communication packaging salvage and scrap disposal return goods handling customer services etc location of the manufacturing facilities is one of the most important of global operations management decision the success of a global manufacturing strategy depends on four key factors compatibility configuration coordination control company strategies that managers must consider are efficiency cost which include reduction of manufacturing costs dependability comprising of the degree of trust in a company's product and its delivery and price promises quality which include performance reliability service quality speed of delivery and maintenance quality of the product flexibility comprises of ability of the production process to make different kinds of products and to adjust the volume of output innovation includes ability to develop new product and ideas the location of production facilities of a global corporation may be influenced by a number of factors like nature of organization costs of operation exchange rate variation availability and cost of inputs factors government policies and regulations and social and political factors an essential decision facing an international firm is where to locate its manufacturing activities to achieve the goals of maintaining costs and improving product quality for the firm contemplating international production a number of factors must be considered which can be grouped under three broad headings country factor technological factors and product factors country factors include the difference in political economy and national culture Technological factors are concerned with manufacturing technology, the technology that performs specific manufacturing activity. Product factors include value to weight ratio and value to weight ratio. There are two basic strategies for locating manufacturing facilities, concentrating them in a centralized location and serving the world market from there, or decentralize them in various regional or national locations that are close to major markets. The potential for reducing costs through more efficient material management is enormous. Even a small reduction in these costs will have a substantial impact on profitability. The basic philosophy behind just-in-time systems is to economize our inventory holding costs by having materials arrive at a manufacturing plan just in time to enter the production process and not before the major cost saving comes from speeding up inventory turnover. As the number of dispersion of domestic and foreign markets and sources grow, the number and complexity of organizational linkages increase correspondingly in a multinational enterprise the challenge of managing the cost associated with purchase currency exchange inbound and outbound transportation production inventory communication expediting tariffs and duties and overall administration is massive web based information systems play a crucial role in modern materials management by tracking component parts as they make their way across the globe toward an assembly plant information systems enable a firm to optimize its production scheduling based on time components are expected to arrive by locating component parts in supply chains good information system allows the firm to accelerate production when needed by pulling key component out of the regular supply chain and having flown them to the manufacturing plant now let us check if we have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly product factors include value to weight ratio and weight to value ratio right or wrong the success of a global manufacturing strategy depends on four key factors wrong right or wrong International business frequently face sourcing decisions between make or sell right right or wrong wrong before we end let us briefly revise what we studied till so far the lesson explain how efficient manufacturing and logistics function can improve an international business competitive position by lowering the cost of value creation and by performing value creation activities in such ways that customer service is enhanced and value added is maximized We also examine closely at three issues central to international manufacturing and logistics management where to manufacture what to make and what to buy and how to coordinate a globally dispersed and supply system 
Supply chain management is important in business today. The term supply chain comes from a picture of how organizations are linked together as viewed from a particular company. The goal of a supply chain should be to maximize overall supply chain profitability. Key supply chain decision phases are supply chain strategy or design, supply chain planning and supply chain operations. Thank you.